obviously they've played this map a handful of times in the past, that um, they're able to take them to a 16-13 potentially on this map, then could be anybody's ball game. But we are going to go live into the ninth round here. LG versus Mouse Bass. Cobblestone is the map, and I'm popping the proverbial cherry on this one. I haven't ever cast Cobblestone before, so Moses, hold me. I'm scared. You can do it. You can do it. Put your back into it. it be very descriptive. Paint that picture. Mouse Spaz, they win the knife round! So now they're 6 and 1 in knife rounds. Yeah. And, and they take CT, CT side. side. I'm, and I'm interested by this because you said that the terrorist side is so strong on this map that they opted to go for the well, CT side. Uh, to be fair, it might be something where, you know, obviously this map's been played for quite some time over in Europe, so the meta over there has made this into a T-sided map in uh, North America. Just kind of starting onto it this season, uh, teams might be finding it a little bit more CT sided than we're seeing in the, you know, the professional level at Europe. Just, just an idea. I'm not, you know, just to. That would be my my thought process behind it. But yeah, gotcha. still, you know, this being this being a T sided map, I I still think teams in Europe still prefer to start on the CT side. All right. Well, it's going to be a quick push towards the B bomb site with two members of the terrorist force. They've got one sitting over by the drop. And they've also got one sitting by the B main. And we'll see whether or not they're able to work their way out. They dropped a couple of decoys, and they're going to do a little bit of spam, but that bomb is working its way around the long A corridor here. They're going to go ahead and clear out all their angles. Anger at the at the point. Lex also joining him over in that area, as well as who else is that? That's Pitt. So this is a pretty strong stack here from the terrorist side, working their way over. Peter's actually made his way down into the bottom side of mid. He's going to be able to spot out Zach. And now they're going to come around from long A, and there it is. Anger's going to draw first blood, and now they're basically going to get in the bomb site for free. Now rotating around, popping some shots, and Imps just going to be able to find a nice frag, but Napoli already took down another one. That's going to be Pauly down and out. And they're still trying to work some picks here. Fruit's going to find a second one. But still not a lot of progress being made here from the CT side thus far, and Anger's going to go to work here along with Pitt, trying to hold it down. Lex is bleeding internally, but Pitt and Anger combine to take down two more, and Pitt with the net last frag, and he's going to find Demise, takes him out, and Luminosity getting that pistol round, and here we go, boys. Yeah, that was such a similar pistol round to what Mousepaz did on Inferno, where they played retake in the A bomb site, and they and they really, I mean, here on Cobble, they really stacked the drop zone. They had three players in it. So very curious. They're devoting a lot of manpower to stopping that in the pistol round. And, uh, you know, just like on Inferno, that, that retake, that skew towards one side, it's basically just a default win for Luminosity when they go to the other way. I mean, Zek was just playing a little bit too aggressive, gets picked off there, uh, doesn't even really let the, the retake strategy come to fruition because they just fell so quickly. Good nade down drop's going to find a little damage onto Polly, and Affly with the Neon Rider is going to make his way up towards that area. They've got a double stack over here on the CT side, so this is going to be a little bit dangerous for him if he does decide to drop down here. Drop down into drop. Ha-ha! <laughs> I amuse myself. But nevertheless, they are going to be slowly working that bomb out through the B-Halls, and they're going to get that wide peak angle that you were talking about from this platform to the fountain, but Emsta is there and prepared. They go for a head stack through the legs of the fountain. But Anger going to catch Polly out from the back, and Lex is going to go into one. Anger with the second one. Fruit does manage to retort. He does manage to pick up a gun, but Anger with a quick triple. And that's going to leave it all on Sec here, who's flanking around through the B-Halls. See what he can do here. That was actually a clever little boost behind the uh, behind the statue between the legs. Pitt didn't even really know it hit him. But, yeah, it is going to be all on Zek. He is watching it with the scout. He does tag him up. Zek's not going to be able to find anything. He falls off, and really no reason to try and save. Might as well just go for an exit kill somehow, but... Not a lot going his way. Maybe see if there's a gun that, that was dropped. Maybe like even well, a Tech 9. Yeah, there's, there's a body a, right there. There's a Mac 10 down at the bottom of drop, I believe, but it's going to be a little bit of a risky play. They're kind of holding on to this, and Zach now down to 1 HP. Oh, he goes for the tech, uh, for the Mac 10, but Pith, Pit, Peter, one of the Pits. P's. I had to cast uh, Pit on Inferno the other day, playing in the Pit position, and it was like the most awkward thing. I was like, oh, Pit's in Pit, and it was... Uh, very interesting. <laughs> a little bit different, a little bit different indeed, but nevertheless, a 2-0 scoreline for LGs. They're already bringing the heat a little bit, the proverbial heat to Mouse Spaz. We'll see whether or not they can continue to capitalize on these anti-eco rounds. Mouse Spaz is going to go a little bit more aggressive this round as they do push Fruit down mid, and he's going to pay for it. Anger set up rather nicely for that trade frag, although there was no need for a trade. And look at this, a little bit aggressive in Peter with a nice chest shot right to the heart of Emsta. Oh, and Zach, he's going for the Deagle, and he's down to 5 HP, so not a good start for Mouse Pass here. Yeah, I really like that they haven't they haven't fully invested into either of these first two eco rounds. Just, you know, no armor out of them. They've, they've upgraded the pistols to try and get something to happen, but they haven't 
it's not a super huge investment like we normally see from from the saving teams uh, after a pistol round. So they want to get into that fourth round, you know, with with a good economy. They don't, they don't want to be, you know, lacking for smokes or kits or, or molotovs, whatever they might want. So I like that a lot out of Mousepass here. When we, we saw on the first map, I mean, they were just beaten up by their economy uh, in the early stages of that half. All right, well, 3-0 scoreline for Luminosity, and we'll see whether or not Mousepass can pick up the big green on the back of Zek. You said how much of an impact player he is with it, and there it is, immediately goes for the op in small armor. Yeah, and this could be this could actually be huge for them. There's a lot of places that he can employ that AWP. Also, one thing that's good on this map is the uh, auto sniper is very strong on this map. If if you can ever get the economy to actually afford it, but it is a it is a bit of a risk, especially this early on. So see if that comes out later. But at the moment, Zach with that op, you're exactly right. He's gonna have to find something for his team. And again, Mouse Spaz, he's going aggressive here, and Peter is set up. He's gonna miss the op shot. So it is an op on op battle down the long A hallway, but. Zek is going to resign from that position, and Fruit playing aggressively behind the smoke. They might be able to find something out, but Peter's already going all the way back towards the B-Halls through the Breathing Dragon fire area. That's actually, I don't know if you've noticed that, but that's like the Dragon Lore tapestry hanging there. Matches the, yeah, uh, the Dragon no, Lore AWP. That. Yeah. A little bit of knowledge for you. See, I'm not completely new to this map. Perfect. Yeah, I've but picked up on some really dumb stuff from time to time. <laughs> This is just going to be a B execute, and actually there's no one for Mousepaz that's wide in the bomb site behind the fountain. That's kind of a critical spot, so this could be very, very scary if Luminosity is able to make this work, and it looks like here it comes. If they're able to swing wide, it's going to be huge for them. But I'm still already getting into position, and that smoke is going to cordon off that area, so they've really got it cut out for him right now. 35 seconds on the clock. They're trying to make their way in. m going for the peak, but Pit! One and two! Hi! How you doing? I'm from Sweden, and you're dead. Nafly is going to chime in with a third, and now we're down to a two versus five, and already that defense of that B bomb site is completely thwarted. Anger is going to chime in with another one, and Zach already all the way back in the A halls, and he's going to try to hang on for dear life here. Yeah, and that, that's it's just there's no there's nothing stopping Luminosity from getting from swinging wide on that platform. So, I mean, Pitt's able to jump down and pretty much walk up. It was a nice wall of smokes uh, between the statue on the staircase. Uh, allows him to get into that site and a couple nice shots. Obviously, they were just uh, impeccable headshots from him. So, great entries from the Swedish player of Luminosity. And that's a brutal start to the to the gun rounds of this match. Alrighty, so once again, we are going to see that AWP saved from Zek, but he's sitting on 0-3, the goose egg right now. And if he drops a couple more times, we could see da -na -da -na, the 007 coming out for his scoreline. But he's got to be really careful here because that AWP, he's probably going to go a little bit aggressive here. It looks like he's aiming to go for those A hall play again. And Peter, he was holding it last time. And let's see where Peter decides to go with the AWP this time. Looks like he is going to make his way over. And watching that mid demise, maybe getting a little too peaky for his own good. But Zek again working his way up. He might be able to catch one or two out here if he's really careful and bides his time. He's got anger right around the corner. And anger. Oh, no! And Anger does take him down. Lex is going to find another one in mid, and that's going to leave it on Polly and Emsta on this rotation back towards the A bomb site. A very long rotation for Fruit as well. But that A bomb site has been yielded out there in the backside of that site with the 5-7. Not able to get it done. Pitt's going to find one. Nafli found Fruit as well, and Emsta all by his onesies. He's got one coming through the fence. That's Lex. And Lex gets it done. So 5-0 now. Luminosity off and rolling in this matchup. And uh, a couple of players on Goose, actually three players without a kill right now on Mouse Spaz. That's Polly, Demise, and Zek. Yeah, that was part of the issue we saw on Inferno in the early stages. And I, I mean, not quite this bad, but they're just not getting the kills. And they actually switched something up. They have Impso now with an AWP as well as Zek. So they go for this double op setup. And that's, you know, perhaps just to help them at both bomb site try and find a pick, try and give themselves a man advantage, any kind of advantage they can take into the mid rounds. Because Luminosity at the moment, these first five rounds, they've just abused them. And actually, somebody in chat pointed out the fact that no member of LG lost HP in the last round. So, starting off strong, but Zach with the op does manage to find one. They've gone for a double up setup. Imsta has one as well. So, the early frags going their way right now. Mouse Spaz up with a two man advantage. Still getting aggressive is going to be Zach pushing all the way up through the A halls. And he's got one rotating all the way around through terrorist spawn. That's Nafly who's going to be looking for it. And Zach goes for the peak and does line it up and takes him down. So, a double now for Zach. And Polly chimes in, so good round here from the terrorist side, a five-man stand, pardon me, the CT side of Mouse Baz, five to one. Yeah, and that, that's going to let him build up build up some economy. That also lets, you know, Zek, if he wants to upgrade his head armor, he gets some nades and some utility behind it. Now they have all five members with kits. Uh, they've got all five members with smokes, and they've got four Molotovs, so 
Uh, that that's a very very good round from there. Exactly, all five members survived. So how does how, how does LG respond now to that double up setup? Because if they're going to keep going slow like that, that's going to give some opportunities to Zek and Imsta uh, to find those opening kills. Some opportunities. <sighs> oh yeah, <there's... laughs> nailed it. All right, well, there you go. The opening frag going the way of Emsta once again. That AWP chiming in. He gets the wall bang down on Anger as well. He's got one more to beat over there by the platform. That's going to be Nafly, who does manage to take down Demise, but Polly goes into one, and I'm lagging a little bit here. I don't know what's going on with the server. Are you lagging as well? Yeah, I am. It's the GoTV. Yeah, it looks like GoTV actually crashed, so hopefully we'll get this one back underway. Nope, nope, we're good. It looks like uh, Mousepaz won that. So, sorry for the little bit of a lag spike, but good round there from Emsta. I believe he picked up three more frags as well. He's sitting at 7-5. and five. Yeah, and that was, that was the response to Luminosity 1. They said, all right, you have a double op. We're going to try and get in here very quick. We're going to try and take this bomb site very, very efficiently and leave it up to your ops to retake. But Imsta, other things out of his mind there, shuts him down. So looking good in this double op setup so far. It's off the back of that. They've gotten their first two rounds. But Peter, but Peter chimes in. Yeah, there you go. So the AWP taking down the AWP, and that's Imsta down and out. So Peter getting the opening frag, and that's going to really open up things over towards the B bomb site. And let's see what kind of a retort they have on the CT side. Polly's going to get aggressive here by Box. And see if he can make anything happen over here by the platform outside of B. He's going to get flashed in by a teammate, and Anger's right there, ready. He's going to go ahead and find that kill, and that's going to leave Demise all by himself. He does manage to take down one, takes down a second one. Can he make it happen? What a return frag from the CT side of Mouse Spaz. He's still looking for another one. They dropped the bomb carrier Lex going in on one, but that's fruit to, to save the day. But Nafly going to take down the last three lightning fast. I'm not really sure what happened because I had a little bit of a spurt of lag there, but hopefully we get that rectified. 6-2 to two is going to be your scoreline now in favor of Luminosity. Yeah, he flanked out the drop. Hops through that little bit of a window and comes through the doors, and he just sprayed three of them down from behind. You're exactly right. Very, very quickly. So nice flank from him, and... This B attack that Luminosity has, Mousepass hasn't really figured out how to how to stop it. This execute with the smokes, they put up a wall of smokes, one between the fountain and the B, uh, that big wall with the tree on it, and then one between the, the staircase. So it's this wall of smoke that allows them to very easily and very safely entry frag uh, on, to, on towards that, that statue. And Fruit took a tremendous amount of damage from a nade and pushing on through. They actually find one. Zek is going to find the double. Lex does manage to take down Fruit in mid-connector. And now Nafly is just waiting for this fallback from Zek. Oh, poor Zek. Right around the corner, Lex is actually going to flash in. Takes him down, goes for the peak. He gets the double to match the double from Zek. And now we're all even up on a three versus three. That bomb all the way down in the bottom of mid. They're trying to make their way up towards the mid-connector. And that's going to be Polly playing a very reminiscent 1.6 position here right around the corner. He's going to get flashed in, takes down Nafly. Good play from them. Proper use of team play. He's going to go for another peek here. And Lex around the corner is going to find the shot. A little bit yeah. too uh, overstate his welcome there and met a little bit too long. He should have fallen back and joined his teammate up in the A-bomb site. But nevertheless, we are on a two versus two. And Demise is in a good position here. A lot of time for LG to work with them. If they can be patient, they don't have eyes on the bombster right now, but if Demise, oh, he peeks out, he wins the battle with Lex, that's going to give Peter the knowledge of where he is, so he takes him out. He's got to go recover that bomb. He actually picks up an AK-47. Imsa is up on the balcony, and he wins that battle. Peter jumping in the air, can't recover in time, so that's going to be a nice win for Mousepads. That's going to be their third CT round on the board. He's even going to salvage the AWP, and... I think LG is going to be fine going into the next round to buy here. They have a couple players who can drop some. Peter can buy his own if needed. Naf can buy his own. So, yeah, this is going to be a force buy out of LG. But this is the last chance they have. Their economy is going to be broken if they don't win this round. So, Mousepass is making a little bit of a bid to keep this half close. All right, so once again, we're going to be on a full gun round. Zek with the AWP down in mid was dropped to him from his teammate. And we're going to see whether or not they can capitalize on this right now. And Anger is going to take a little bit of nade damage there. Imsta's in a good position to do some more damage to him as he's going to be hiding behind the box there on the platform. And he's basically out in the open, a sitting duck. If they lob some nades over in his direction, that's going to really hurt. But he peeks out and wins the battle against Demise. That's a good opening from them. Polly goes into one. Nafly and Lex combine to take down a couple more. Fruit with the FAMAS is going to find another one. But spamming through the smoke, finding a lot of damage is Anger. That Khalil doing work right now. We did have one player drop from the server, so potentially a pause at the end of this round. Unless that player can get in, and again, Anger finding the damage through the smoke, and he gets the kill. Lex did chime in on Zek as well, so a 7-3 scoreline, and Luminosity still doing work on their terrorist side. Yeah, Anger, Anger was given far too much room to work with. There were three counter-terrorists in that B bomb site. He swung so wide on the platform and found a one-on-one. -on -one. He was exposed to, like, two different angles where the CTs were, but none of them were peeking at that time. Emsta was reloading. 
I think so. The timing of it just works out in Anger's favor, but I mean, that's something that just can't happen. You have to trade that initial kill, especially when he's so incredibly exposed like that. Uh, the real big issue was Anger got so aggressive, got there very, very quickly because Mousepass didn't have like the utility nades that, that they needed. They did, they were pretty much out of grenades, you know, 30, 40 seconds into the round. So that was very, very tough for them to handle. Alrighty, well they do have Polly back in the server. They are going to be on a save round here for Mouse Spaz, and we'll see what they have for us here. As they have picked up a P250 and a 5.7, but it looks like it's going to be another quick push. Well, he slowed things down a little bit here from Luminosity, but three members of the CT forces all pushing over by the Fountain side. And we'll see what these nades do right now. They did find a little bit of damage, and Polly right around the corner, almost a double. Anger is going to be able to pick up the double execution style. And right around the corner, Pipe Pit's going to be able to find one that's Demise down and out, so that B bomb site open for business. And that seems to be where the terrorist side of LG is favoring. They only went to the A bomb site a handful of times. Uh, predominantly over towards B and Nafli pushing out forward with that MP7 is going to find one last man around the corner and Nafli gets it done. So again, Nafli, the new acquisition to this team has been doing significantly well. He's sitting at 10 and 6, Anger at 13 and 4 right now, but all of the terrorist side contributing equally across the board. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been fantastic work for them, and I mean part of the reason why they're not going back to A is because they're having so much success. It'd be why why change it? They're just bullying their way into that bomb set every round. It's gonna be it's gonna have to be a double save for Mouse Spaz. They they can't even afford you know the M4A1s or M4A4s that they that they'd like. They can barely afford the utility if they were to force buy there. So very nicely done from Luminosity here, and they've got a great lead, eight to three. Yeah, I've seen a little bit more of a terrorist lead, like we've mentioned a couple times, but. Still, they're just bullying their way into whatever attack they want. And Anger should be able to pick off one here. Nope, Zek is actually going to get himself out of dodge down the A-Hall, so not a bad uh, decision from him to be able to fall back from that position, and we'll see whether or not they can actually execute in towards the A-bomb site. Looks like that's where the terrorists are going to be favoring of Luminosity. So again, they're going to work their way over and try to pinch on Anger. Anger's going to be looking for one, but he's not going to find it just yet. That nade, though, is going to find Emsta, and Anger is going to be able to take down Zek as well. Nafli just waiting for the flank patrol, but it's not going to be coming in. One peeking from the doors. That's going to be Polly. Nice shot from Anger. He is playing absolutely insane right now. Finds two. Can he peek the back corner? Fruit is there. Does take him down. That's pretty much all that he's going to get here as Lex cleans him up. And that's going to be a ninth round on the board for Luminosity. So a great start to the half for them as we come into the late rounds, into the 13th, and it's a 9-3 to scoreline. Yeah, and look at, I mean, you mentioned Anger playing like a beast. He's 16-5 and five at the moment. That's insane. And he was the player last season that really carried them through the, through the early stretches of the season. And once again, he's starting this one off very, very well. And this match specifically, just just an absolute monster. Naf actually chooses to pick up an SMG. So I'm He's had that for see. like four rounds. Has he? Yeah. Okay. After after Mouse Pass picked up a couple of rounds, once uh once LG started winning back again, they he, he picked up the SMG and kinda held on to it for a while. Nice nade over the top is gonna find some good damage. Oh, that nade a little bit off the mark. Fortunately not gonna be able to find the damage that they were looking for. And finally Fruit's gonna get himself into a good position here, but he's gonna give it away throwing that nade. He finds good damage with it. Three members are very critically wounded here on the terrorist side, so if they're not careful, if they decide to push through this smoke, it could be detrimental to them. Spraying over the top. Barely missing the head of Pit. Yeah, this is this is brutal. This is he just just lower it just a little bit, but you're right. That nade does a, a ton of damage, and here's gonna come that execute that wall of smokes that Luminosity's been oh, so successful. Oh, he mollied himself, I think. Oh nope, he did get he did manage to get it over the box. Demise and Fruit, they're gonna find a couple themselves, and that's gonna force the terrorist side to retreat for the time being. Yeah, and they pretty much set up clean for this execute, so they have no map control. They're, they're stuck here. They've kind of got to try and force their way, and they don't really have time to go back and clear everything. It takes about 20 seconds to get from where they are over to that eight bomb site, so just not enough time to, to clear every corner. All right, and again, Fruit with the AK now. Peter right around the corner with that AWP, but Fruit finds the headshot through the smoke. Nice job from him. Still looking for Peter. He's going to find another one. That's a big 3K for him on the round, and the last one is going to be Pit. Seen Pitt do crazy things in the past, but he's not going to be able to make its showcase debut thus far in this round as he's going to get cleaned up by Emsta. A fourth round on the board for Mouse Spaz. Yep, but it's going to be, I mean, Luminosity still has so much money. Pitt has 10,000, the rest of them have, you know, 7,000, 8,000. So they're going to be able to buy here for these last two rounds of the half. And while that was a good stop at, at, at the B site for Mouse Spaz, we, we've seen that exactly that exact strat be just successful more times than not. So it's going to be up to them to stop it again. But actually, it looks like Luminosity is going to switch things up, go over towards the A bomb site. Zach's got his AWP, and he's going to push those halls again. 
He hasn't been successful too much here. He's found a kill once or twice, but more often than not, he just ends up getting punished. And actually, it's just going to be a dry peek from Lex. That's going to give Zek the time he needs. He takes him out, falls back with a man advantage. Yeah, and smart play from Zek. Getting that opening kill, not giving them a chance for any kind of a trade. But you can see there's two more terrorists that are working their way up there. Good, good decision to drop that smoke. That's going to give him clairvoyance down in the bottom side of mid. And Peter's right around the corner. He's going to go for the peek. Oh, and the pre-fire from Peter. Nice job from him, but Fruit's there to clean him up. And now he's got to be careful because he's got Anger and Pit all the way over in the A-Halls. Good flashbang. He's going to find Pit blind him off for a little while longer. But Pit, tap, tap. See you later, Fruit. Yeah, I'm waiting for Naf to make his move. He's in this lurk position right above the drop. He's kind of waiting for this hit to come in, and it looks like now he wants to start moving. There is one player watching that, but Polly's pushed up close down into Connector, and he's going to win this battle with Anger. That's the bomb down. There's no Luminosity members really close by. Naf just now rotating to try and pick it up, but he's got a lot of work to do. Polly does a nice pop flash for himself, but he's killed for it. Pit trying to go to battle with Zach. Hasn't got it 1 HP, but Pit's been legged. So Naf's got a lot of work to do here coming up with the bomb in only 24 seconds. His teammate falls and there's really no more progress to be made. So a nice defense for Mouse Spaz. They withstand the pressure and they take their fifth round. All right, so not a bad showing here for Mouse Spaz. If they can 9-6 this half, it's not going to put them in too bad of a position. But again, we talked about some of their scrim, stat, uh, scrim stats from earlier on. Scrim stats. Scrim stats. Very difficult to say, apparently, when you're trying to talk as fast as I do. But nevertheless, they didn't have very much success on their terrorist side. That's really the point that I was trying to make, Moses. Yeah, they, they, that's, yeah, they, they. I mean, that's been their tune all season since they've, you know, in both in both Sevo and DSCA is, you know, that that twenty percent, twenty some percent win rate on their terrorist sides. That's absolutely brutal. Good but opening, Zach. Once again, yeah, Zach once again gives his team an advantage here. He does take one out over towards Long A once again, and no move from Luminosity players to cut him off. They're gonna let him re peek, and Peter's gonna equalize it. So nice patience from Peter there. And again, Zach overextending a little bit too much there, trying to make a play happen when it didn't really necessarily have to be made. Yeah, Luke. last round he got the pick and he just fell back and it worked beautifully for him. This round he goes for the repeak and he, and he gives it one up. So now look at how spread out the defense is. It's just basically one, 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 and one across mm -hmm. the map. Oh, and Peter. Nice shot from him. Naflai coming down off a drop. He's going to go to battle with Demise, but Demise is going to win that one. And now the nade comes out and pit. Already down underneath by Fountain, so he's already pushed in towards the bomb site. He might get a clear line of sight here onto one or two players. And shot in the back is going to be Lex taking down Demise. Pit goes and spins around on the fruit, and that's going to leave it all on Polly now in a one versus three. So very difficult situation for him. He's working his way around through the drop halls. He's got one right around the corner. That's going to be Lex, and he checks it but doesn't register it. And Lex is going to pay for him. <laughs> Ten to five, nice, not a bad half. Nice angle hold by Lex, so... Yeah, not, not not a bad half for Mouse. Not, not, I mean, obviously not as bad as that uh, Inferno. They just got kind of beat up. And uh, just to let you guys know, we do know that the uh, the Go TV is lagging. It's not the actual match server. It's just our Go TV. So we have some we have some staff looking into it, but doing our best here. All right. Well, I look like I feel like I'm lagged out right now. Are you still in the server or nah? I am, uh, I believe that's just how, it, you know, it crashes from time to time at halftime. So I'm just going to reconnect, see what happens. Yeah, my game actually fully crashed, so. Yeah, that's, gotta, that's what it is. I reconnected, yep. uh, fine. I got to hop back up in that one, so. Yeah, buddy. Give me one second, boys. I'll get right back into this one. We'll bring you pistol round in just a second. All right. Let's see. I'm trying to connect. It's not letting me back in. Are you in? Yes. All right. Well, why don't you give us a little bit of radio voice uh, casting here as I try to get back into the server? Hasn't got live quite yet, so you got some time. Keep working on it. You'll get there. Let me quit out again real fast and see if I can't join back up. Apologies for the delay here, guys. No big deal. Bring the action to you in just a moment. All right, well, the piss round is live now. There are four oh, members I'm getting of Luminosity. In now. You're in? Nice. I'm, I'm done. getting in. I'm getting in. No, uh, fingers are crossed right now. Fingers are crossed. Oh, Lex holding down this A-Hall so incredibly there well, we but the actual main attack, it was a fake from Mouse Pass. They put pressure on A-Halls. Lex cleans it up, but it's going to be a three-on-three. -three. They have taken the B-Bomb site. They're getting aggressive as well. Peter wins his battle. Polly pushing into the drop area. Fruit's going to re turn on to him. Quickly down to a two-on-two. -two. Yeah, and Fruit already with three frags in this round. He's going to peek out and go to battle with Lex, and Lex... Well, Imps is going to be able to chime in with one of his own. Lex with a nice patient headshot there. He's on a one versus one, but Fruit's going to make him pay a quad for him in the pistol round. And what a great start for Mouse Baz. 
Yeah, a really, a really nice piss around from Fruit there. And even Lex had actually a really good one shutting down that A attack all by himself. But Fruit cleans things up. So nicely done by him. That's going to be an important piss around for Mouse Bat. So they're going to get a chance here to build on this. And second round, Luminous is a team we got to mention. They love Deagles. They're a Deagle team. We see four of them here. I don't think we see any other team ever anywhere by four deagles on their on their second rounds but luminosity is a squad that has made it work according to likes pit came over from sweden and taught them the secret of unlocking the power of the desert eagle i, I believe it and there's peter he doesn't yep. have a deagle he's got a p250 but he finds a headshot on demise it's an early advantage there's actually two players over there peter's now got a mac 10 he's going to swing out he does spot one more with the smg lex is going to get into a battle with zek and he wins it two shots of the deagle brings him down and now it's very, very scary for Mouse Spaz in a three on five. And they've actually rotated two more around to harass these A halls. And Lex with 28 HP. We'll see what they can do now. Is Lex holding with that Desert Eagle? Let's see where he's going to be playing from. He's playing a little bit of a cheeky angle. He's going to work his way down towards the water at the bottom of the mid. Well, what used this to be the water. This is scary for Luminosity. They have a, such a huge advantage, but this is the right call for Mouse Spaz. Lex is going to peek out, misses the shots. No rotation quite yet from Luminosity. It's only one player over towards A. Finally, Pit starts coming over. Peter's going to hide in the back of the bomb site with that MAC-10. Pit's going to try and hit a deal shot. He misses it, though. It's going to be all on Peter for the moment. Yeah, and ducking down, they don't spot him. Polly's going to find Pit, and now it's all on Peter in the back side of this site. He's got one around the corner. They do spot him out. They do take him down, and that's going to be on Anger and Nafly now with two Desert Eagles to try to solidify this round, and let's see what they've got for us here. Going to need a couple of really nice headshots. And uh, maybe just falling back to hang yeah. on to their Desert Eagles. That's a shame. That was such a promising round for him, and it was just they, they wanted to keep this stack. They had they had a nice head stack with two Deagles over towards B, and they wanted to keep that as long as possible, but no rotations came in quick enough to uh, to really help him out. So Mouse Spaz recovers very, very nicely in a scary situation. That's going to give them their seventh round here. Allow them to build up a little bit of bank as well. And again, you know, 10-7, to 7, not bad for Mouse Spaz. They've got a little bit of breathing room now, so they can afford to lose a round here or lose a round there, but it's not going to get too terribly out of hand for them as long as they can continue to bolster their economy. Those SMGs are going to be very, very important. You can see Imps just sitting on 4750 right now, 4800 for Fruit and 4800 for Polly, who does still have a Galil from the round before. So they are going to pick up another MP7. Actually, I believe Demise dropped that, and he's going for the AK-47 buy as well as Fruit. Now another AK-47. So they actually wasted the MP7. Not sure that that's a smart decision. Yeah, it is a little bit curious, but not a huge issue. They just need to make sure that they don't... I mean, they're not going to get away with losing two members early like that and then being able to bail themselves out of that round, so they got to make sure they get an early lead. That's pretty much exactly what Demise has done. He's taken out Lux. He's got one more to deal with, but that information is going to allow Mousepass to just come into B pretty much for pretty much for free. So don't meet any real resistance. They're getting the bomb planted. Imster covers nicely. Look at Peter, though. Peter's, yeah, Peter's got a nice position. He does take out Walter with that P250 again, but he gets sprayed down. Not yet through the smoke, but Nade comes in and cleans him up. Just snap left. Yeah, and he did a really nice little sneak play there. He was able to dink down one. Polly and Demise both extremely low. But Nafly all by his lonesome in a one versus four. Probably not going to find too terribly much here as he is going to go ahead and just drop on down. And uh, pretty much alerted to his position over here by drop. So he's looking for that gun that actually got dropped by the player. That was an AK-47, or pardon me, that was a Galil that got dropped. Oh, he dies with a bomb. That's unfortunate. No big deal. So we're going to go into this first gun round, and because of that, actually, they, LG, actually, they, they bought those deagles, but they didn't buy armor behind it, so they've got pretty good economy here to have some strong utility. They'll have some kits. Peter picks up his AWP. It's a pretty solid buy round out of Luminosity coming here into this, uh, this fourth round of the half. Alrighty, so it is a full gun round. Peter with the AWP, like you said, Zach has one of his own. And that nade up over top of the drop area is not going to find too terribly much damage right there. And it does look like we are going to be seeing a little bit of an A play here. But look at this Nafly. He's playing a position that Fruit was in the one round. But again, it's something that they they didn't play with that kind of aggressive, that kind of uh, of speed on the mouse pad CT side. So they weren't able to really get themselves into that kind of a position early on. And now Naf might be able to punish them for it over in the back side of that B bomb site. Yeah, it is, it is still three players, including the bomb, that, that are ready to go over towards this big pod. He's just watching for the counter boost. 
Actually, it was a drown from Hellraiser's earlier today. It had a really cool way of clearing up drops, and he was very, very. Uh, it was a very calculated sequence of events to uh, to take it with one man. But Polly, on the other hand, he's not going to take it. He's just kind of waiting at the moment. His teammates do come and reconvene. They were just watching for bushes over towards aid. Look at this pit and anger down here. If Polly or Demise tries to come down here, they're just going to get massacred. This could be very scary for Malspez. Well, they should have a pop flash coming around the corner, but with Anger humping that post, I don't think he's going to get blinded. They do drop a smoke and drop a flash, but Natfly goes into one, Anger goes into two, and just like that, the offense is just being completely destroyed, and there it is. Peter and Nap combined for the last two. A five-man stand again from the CT side, and Luminosity takes the gun round. Yeah, that, that's the difference. You see, Luminosity didn't let them swing wide on the platform. They had players watching that at all times. There were, there were rounds where Luminosity, as Terrace on this map, was given free reign to swing wide on that platform, get a good angle onto the bomb site. Uh, you know, Mousepaz, on the other hand, they, they just couldn't do it. So a nice sequence, a nice defense over there at the B bomb site for LG. They shut everything down. And now it's a, it's a tough buy for Mousepaz. You see Zek with dualies. They do have four AK-47s, and this is going to be a fast strategy towards A. Yeah, and Lex being pushed up in the A halls is going to gather a whole lot of information, but Demise actually TKs Imsta. Imsta did manage to take down Peter as they come up the stairs towards the A hall, so a good clearing from them, but Anger has already rotated over. He's got an AK, and he's playing from the backside of the B bomb site, or the A bomb site, pardon me. And as long as he holds this angle for a little while longer, he's going to be able to peek out and takes down one, looking for a second one. He's going to find it as well. The last man standing is going to be Fruit, who does manage to equalize and make it a one versus one, and he's still got 78 HP, so Nafly versus Fruit in a 1v1 situation. Bomb down in that A-bomb site, and now Nafly is going to be playing, playing the patience game. And let's see if Fruit plays this correctly. Nafly, oh, spots him out, and Fruit going to do some good damage to him. They're both down to about the same HP values. But Fruit's going to win that battle, a 3v1 clutch from Fruit. What a play from him. Mousepaz with our ninth round, and Fruit is sitting at 18 and 13. He's the second highest fragger behind Anger right now. Yeah, Naf just runs out of ammo in that one and one or else he, he probably would have got it. One more bullet would have done the trick. Unfortunately, he falls in a nice round there, a nice clutch. That's actually huge, too, because it breaks the economy. So this is a couple more rounds where, you know, Mousepass is going to face the, that weakened defense. They have five sevens. They have a Molotov on anger, but, you know, only two of them with armor. Lex has a Deagle in armor, but, I mean, this is a good chance for Mousepass to get that score line just a little bit closer. Yeah, and again, we are going to see a little bit of aggression coming towards that B-bomb site. Bomb on the back of M, so they are making their way around through the B-halls, and we'll see whether or not they pop out here. They've got one on Fountain to beat. That's Nafly, and he's going to go to battle, but he's surely going to fall, and he does, but Anger is there, picks off one. They've got one more over by drop, and that's going to be Imsta taking down Pit, and that B-bomb site is open for business once again, but this time it's for Mouse Spaz. Let's see if Lex can hit a couple of crucial Deagle shots, and Peter with the five, uh, P250 trying to work something over by drop. Yeah, and we are seeing this this map just being heavily terror-sided at the moment. So, both these teams on defense, and even earlier in the European professional division, I mean, it was all it was all terror-side. So, Cobble being a little bit of a wacky map in the pool here. Peter gets shot down towards 14. So they're just going for some exit kills, but Lex basically just gets clotheslined. He gets executed by Imsta. Now Peter's just got this position. Trying to go for the exit kill, but he turns away at just the rock second. Gets taken out by Zek. They swarmed so, his position too much. He didn't know yeah. where to aim. So 11 to 10 is going to be your scoreline, and a tough call here, actually not tough call apparently for LG, they immediately buy out. So they do have the M4A1s. And some utility behind it, Naf's even got a kit, which is which is very, very nice on a map like this, where, where retakes are absolutely crucial. Alrighty, so once again, we're going to see a one-round difference. 11 to 10 is your scoreline. Luminosity still in the lead, but it's only by one, and that lead from, the set, from their terrorist side is just dwindling and dwindling quickly. Already a Molotov down from drop. Imsta gets dinked by Lex, but that's not a big problem. He's going to be able to find that frag anyway. And he's no another rotation. player that's been playing very well. Yeah, no rotation over the A site quite yet. Peter's all alone here. He looks away at the raw second just again. Can't recover in time. So two entry frags onto this A site. It's pretty much a free take for Mousepaz. And LG might just be forced to just save right off the bat. Oh, that nade's going to find some decent dang damage onto the Luminosity players, but once again, they are going to be falling back and hanging onto their rifles to fight another day, and Mousepaz with a good showing so far on their terrorist side. This is going to be six rounds that they've won on their terrorist side. Yeah, very, very impressive, and that was a little interesting because Peter and Lex being alone over at A, they were both pushed up into aggressive positions, but not so much playing together. I mean, they had a, I, I guess that's a pretty interesting crossfire, but I mean, that's Lex loses that battle, and it pretty much gets shut down immediately. Peter nowhere to fall back from, really. Too many angles to cover, so... Mousepaz, uh, they're gonna let LG get away. Actually, they're hunting these guns down right now. So this is gonna be a little bit scary. Pit goes down. 
Anger's back in the in the chicken coop, but Nath goes down as well. And now Anger's got to survive. He's just going to get spammed out. That is not a good wall to cover. It's easily spammable. It's basically just cardboard, as Anders would put it. And he gets blown up. So another eco round's going to come out of Luminosity. And Mouse Spaz at 11-11. This could be their first lead of the night in both their matches. Yeah, and I mean, they've already gotten almost three times as many rounds or four times as many rounds as they got in the entirety of their last match. And this is a great showing for Mouse Spaz. If they're able to take it to Luminosity, they're showing that they can actually compete. And this isn't too bad right now. No, it's looking good. This is actually the first time all season that Mouse Spaz has won six rounds as Terrace. So putting together a good showing here. You beat me to Rotoderp stats. Booyah. I didn't have a chance to alt tab fast enough to see him. Well done, Moses. Well done indeed. Need that double monitor set up. I do have a double monitor set up, but I have dual computers. <laughs> and Skype's not open on my other computer. Nevertheless, we are going to see the save coming out from Luminosity. No damage being spoken of just yet. All players still sitting at 100 HP, with the exception of Polly, who's at 99. Not a big deal. Anger trying to hold with that 5-7. Spotting down behind the APC. Trying to make something happen. The smoke grenade comes up towards the A bomb site to cordon off the rotation. And now we're going to see whether or not they can rotate around. They only have one player over here at this bomb site right now, unless there's a player stacked up on his head, which there is not. And this is all on Anger. He's going to peek out, and he goes down for it. Polly's going to find that kill. So they went for a bit of a gamble on the Luminosity side. Read perfectly from Mouse Baz here. You know, one of the ways that Mouse Baz uh, got some rounds on the CT side was when they had a, you know, they had that double op set up uh, for a couple of rounds. That got them that got them two uh, two consecutive rounds in the first half. I mean, outside of the fourth and fifth round, I don't think Peters had an AWP in his hands. And I mean, still, this this is a situation where if he wants to buy one, it's going to be glass cannon. Maybe you know, no, yeah, just glass cannon. He buys smoke and a flashbang. Can't even afford the just the body armor. So we're going to see what he does with it because that's a way that Mouse Baz, when they were getting beat up by Luminosity, uh, you kind of stem the tide a little bit. They put those double ops into play on Imsta and uh and zach and that's kind of what got him some early kills to give him the advantage going forward and that's exactly what luminosity needs here and again a little bit of aggression coming from the mouse pass side down there into lower mid and again peter aggressive he might get caught out here as there are a couple of members that are kind of swarming over towards that position he's going to go ahead and fall off lex with the m4a4 he's the only one well no pipe pit He's got an uns unsilenced M4 as well. You know, it's not something that you really see that much that often anymore. But again, we're going to see whether or not Peter can make it happen here. He does have the AWP. Demise working his way up through the A-Halls. But they're just going to swarm on this position, and they might be able to catch him out here. Lex behind the APC. He goes down. Zach, nice headshot from him. And now Peter's all by his lonesome finds one, but that's all he's going to get. And now Anger on the rotation. They might have spotted the gun barrel as he dropped down. But no, they don't clear their angles all the way. He's going to find one, but Fruit there for the trade. And this is something that Mouse Pass had trouble with in the last matchup. Those trades that we talked about before. And they are doing such an extraordinary job on their terrorist side getting all of these trade kills. Part of this, too, is the Luminosity players. I mean, Peter there was in such a... You, you said it correctly when that hit came in that they were going to catch him out. He was in a position where he couldn't really fall back to anywhere. So he gets one kill, but he's so exposed he gets traded off very, very easily. Uh, part of that is, is uh, Mousepad's just hitting a nice shot onto Lex, cleaning up his support in that bomb site. So a tough round there for Luminosity and a buy that they absolutely needed. So they're going to be forced onto a save again. They don't. Uh, they have that full losing bonus, actually, but they still can't afford anything whatsoever. So the Deagles come out, and this is going to put Mousepad's onto 14 as long as nothing crazy happens. But Luminosity feeling very, very nervous at the moment. Yeah, so far in this half, they've only won one CT side round, and that came in the fourth. So this has been all mouse pads all day. And look at this flight coming out. Peter's going to be able to find one. He picks up the AK. Can he get the spray control? No, Lex is there to bail him out. Demise goes into Peter, though. So early man advantage for the CT side of LG, but Pit goes down. And now Anger over by drop. He's going to get caught, tapped down to 32. He's going to have to buy this time, but they know that he's there. If an aid comes out, he's going to go down. And the Molotov. And there it is. He does try to resign from that position. Goes down anyway. Nafly on the rotation. They do have a couple of AK-47s. And let's see what they can do with them now as that bomb goes down. Three versus two. 39 HP for Lex. He's going to get immediately decapitated. Nafly goes right back into Imsta. Trying to push his way out. He's going to get naded down. 61 points of health. Flashbang to follow. Let's see what he can do here. Working his way around. He might be able to find Demise who's playing in the chicken coop as you so dubbed it earlier. And now picking around the corner, he's going to get taken down immediately by Polly, and just like that, Luminosity on the verge of going down to tie point here for Mouse Baz. Yeah, obviously neither of us expecting anything close to this at all. Mouse Baz putting together a fantastic Terrace half, nine to one so far in this half. 
Luminosity, have, and now they're going to bust out that double op setup. So here it goes. They're going to switch things up. Both sides of the map will have an AWP. That's where they're going to find their pick. So this is where the defense is going to try and make a stand, and they pretty much have to play mistake for your counter strike from here on out. Yeah, fully invested in, in this, and if they lose any of these AWPs, they're going to be on such a limited buy after the round is over. But Peter getting aggressive from the stairs in bottom mid is going to find that frag. And that's the top fragger fruit down and out. Pardon me, the second fragger, Imsta, has surpassed him at 21 and 16. Yeah, now Naf's got the up pretty situated over towards uh, towards Long B. So that's another angle where they can find another pick. And here they come walking up towards it. It looks like they want to do a B execute. If Naf swings out a little bit wider, he's actually just going to drop off and fall back, grab a different angle. But the defense set up nicely for this at the moment. Yeah, he's got defensibility over in this area. And he's also got help from Pitt if they do decide to push around that box. And that's exactly where they're going to be going. Polly and Demise right around the corner. And Nafly sitting back. He's waiting for this peak to come out. They are going to go ahead and shoulder peek it. The flash comes out. Nafly doesn't take the shot fully blinded. They're going to be able to spot him out. And Demise is going to get the better of him. Spot a go TV lag. And Zek goes into one as well. So now it's all on Pit to try to hold this down. And Zek goes into him as well. So that defense at that B bomb site is completely shattered. And they're going to fall back and save. So Mouse Spaz is going to get the match point here at a 15 to 11 scoreline. LG, they've got their work cut out for them. Yeah, a couple things happened that round. First of all, Naf with that op over towards B, I, re I really thought he could have taken a wider angle, a little bit more aggressive. He has that entire hallway to work with, and he could have looked for one. They just, you know, when he fell off, it just lets them, it gives them so much control of that. They got so much closer as they're hunting these guns down. Uh, second, Zek just outlurked the hell out of anger. Perfect timing from Zek. Drops down. He's able to get, able to get anger, and then he takes out Pit as well over towards that B bomb site. So. You're exactly right. Mousepaz on the verge of upset and getting their own first win. We said it was just incredibly likely they're going to drop to 0-7, but they kind of see their words here at the moment. And for a team that, going into this match, had about 20% win rate on their terrorist side, this is an absolutely spectacular terrorist half. 10-1 to 1 now. Yeah, and unfortunately for LG, I mean, they're on the buy, but Nafly, what's he going to be picking up here? He does have an AK-47 that was salvaged from the last round. Pitt is going to be on a FAMAS, and that smoke grenade is going to come around the corner, and that's going to drop all the way to the backside of that B-bomb site down the hallway. So not a bad decision to go ahead and throw that early smoke as it is going to be in what looks to be another B hit, and this has been Mousepaz's MO for the most part. And again, LG kind of exploited that B-bomb site, but Mousepaz found a couple of ways to win some rounds, and they were able to put him on the board and... Again, Mousepads, they've had so much success going towards the B-bomb site that, you know, LG, they just haven't been able to do anything. And they're already out in front of that smoke, and they might be able to catch Nafly out. He's going to lay the AK-47 spam down. And that's a good nade. Going to find some good damage. Followed up by the Molotov, and that's going to find maybe some more damage. He's going to be able to find one. Demise, though, did take down Pit. But Nafly making a stand in the back of this B-bomb site. Finds two. Still looking for more. He's got fruit swinging wide on him now, but that's going to be Peter taking him down. And finally, a little bit of life from the LG side, and Peter's going to find a second one, and now it's all down to Emsa in a one versus three. And Lex pushing around the corner. He's going to get caught out, and now Anger's going to be able to find that frag, and Luminosity hangs on to fight another day. But the economy on their side is not looking too strong, and they are going to be on FAMAS's again. Yeah, but you talk about a rod you absolutely needed, so... That was very scary. I, Naf really, really bailed them out. You, you ended up making a stand behind that statue, getting two nice headshots. Not only that, but he stayed alive for so long. It's not necessarily the kills. I mean, those are absolutely, you know, stellar. But staying alive that long gave his team time to rotate, got them all five members towards that side of the map and in that bomb site to prevent even more uh, progress from Mouse Pass. So a nice defensive hold. And there's Peter. That's the opening they needed. Now he just needs to fall back. They cannot afford to give this lead in the round away. They need to force overtime. And Lex looks like he wants to peek. He could get caught out by Demise. He's got to be very, very careful and wisely starts to fall back and doesn't want to give him the equalizer. I think he may have spotted him over there at the back side of that A hall as well because you can see kind of a... Anger is in a position to rotate hard back over to this A bomb site, and that's exactly what he's going to do. So LG is reading this the correct way, and Lex again around the corner. He does have a smoke in front of him, but... He's got a couple of terrorist side players that are going to be imposing on that position here very, very shortly. So he's got to play this smart. Drops the Molotov to follow. He's going to hold him back just a little while longer. 15 to 12 is your scoreline. Mouse Spaz in the lead, an unlikely lead. As we talked about before, we figured they were just going to get beat up a little bit, but Luminosity on the verge of going down here. And Mouse Spaz looking to get their first win of the season. Flashbangs around the corner. That's not going to hold him back. Lex around there. It's going to be able to find one. Looking for the second one. Lays the dink down on the fruit. And now that read that I talked about earlier, they do have a lot of players rotated over towards this A bomb site. And that's going to be Anger dropping the bomb carrier, not able to take down Polly. The trade is good. And now it's going to be fruit burning one alive. Peter goes down. 
Pitto is going to be able to find one. And now Fruit in a one versus two. He won a one versus three earlier, but he had a substantial amount more health. He's got yeah, to he, he can't afford these, to. Guys. He can't afford to take a single bullet, and it's a nice setup. And only eight seconds left, so this round's going to go in the way of Luminosity. And Af can basically just run away. It's going to peek anyways, though, and take him out before the timer runs. So it's going to be 13 to 15. There's there's another buy here in the economy of mouse pads. A little bit more life left for this last round. Or there's two rounds left, excuse me. But yeah, but if they drop this round with no bomb plant, then they're going to be in jeopardy of this going to yeah. OT as well. So yeah, have a very a very weak buy. On this that is last a round. this that is a must brutal. win round for for mouse pads to thwart any kind of a big comeback from Luminosity. Because you know you call it a comeback for mouse pads. Now Luminosity is on the are the ones that need to come back. So crazy turn of events going into this second half, and I like what I've seen so far from the mouse pads side. I like this boost though. Nafly up on top by the tree. Yeah, this is a completely different team than we saw in Inferno just, you know, just a little bit ago. Alright, so it looks like Fruit's going to be gearing up to drop a flash or a smoke over the wall. And we'll see just what they can do here. Look at this rotation. Already four members of the CT forces over here in this B-bomb site. Now Zach dropping down. He's going to get caught out. He's got one more to beat. That's Anger. But Nafly is going to make short work of Demise, and Peter with the AWP is going to find another one. Fruit goes down. Polly does manage to pick up another frag from drop. He's going to be all by his lonesome with only 4 HP and a 1v2. Let's see what he can do here. Moving in to try to pick up that bomb and at least get that planet so they have economy for the last round. Is he going to be able to get that bomb down? They're both over by drop right now. That's going to be Lex and Pit. And they're going to move on forward. Polly, 4 HP, 1v2. Two. Can he do it? He's still just holding an angle here, watching towards the tree by the B main. His patience on Polly right now. He's been in this situation many times over his illustrious career playing in the 1.6 division. We'll see whether yeah, it, he can it, do it here. In reality, he doesn't even need to go for the win here. He needs to get the bomb planted for, for his team's economy. And this doesn't look like he's... I mean, they're, they're giving him space. He obviously doesn't know that, but... Yeah, just getting this bomb down is a win in and of itself. That's going to allow him to have a much better buy going forward into the next round. And if he can uh, find some one versus ones, he does find oh, the first one. Wow. A nice headshot, but he can't recover in time. Pit with a nice trade. And, uh, you know, here's the thing. That, that plant is going to allow them to have a much better buy than they would have had. It's still going to be a little bit rough, but you look at the you look at the buy of Luminosity that they'll have in this final round, and it's nothing to it's nothing to really be proud of either. No, not at all. And with 6-1 on the back of Polly, he's going to be able to drop a rifle, maybe an AWP over to a teammate. He's going to go for the AK buy anyway. A couple of Galils, and we've got a FAMAS on the CT side, so very limited buy from both sides. Who's going to come out on top? Is Mousepad going to take this 16-14, or are we looking at overtime? Let's hear it, chat! <laughs> Am I the only one hyped right now? Peter gonna find first blood though. It'll be frag on his act. They needed Peter to get that. He's Peter gonna get a gonna second get one as well. Looking for a third. Can he get it? No. Polly, nice angle from him. He's gonna be able to take him down, and that's the only player in that A bomb site. But look at this Lex biding his time over in the A halls. He's gonna be able to find one. He's gonna peek out. Might be able to spray down demise. No, he can't control the recoil. It's down to a two versus two. Pitt biding his time in the smoke. He is gonna go ahead and push on through. He's got cover from the APC, making his way all the way around. Going to be able to take down one. He's got Polly to beat in the site, and he's going to be able to win that. We're going to overtime, boys. Yeah, nice nice sequence from Pitt there. Really maneuvering very, very well in that two-on-two, because Naf was kind of a little bit blocked off, but getting that first kill really gave him the room he needed to work with. So Peter, he, he came alive with that up there, he had, and that's exactly what they needed, because they were really, really struggling. They And once Peter, you know, figured whatever it was, you know, changed whatever he was doing up, he was able to get, you know, one or two picks to open up these rounds, and that's that's what allowed them to force this into overtime, so... Almost from Mousepaz, and... Oh, man, they, they would have loved to have taken that regulation. Uh, being a winless team, to be forced into overtime, to have, you know, three or four match points, that's brutal. Yeah, so we'll see how things progress here as we move our way into OT. And again, not a bad recovery from LG, but unfortunately it comes really late. And quite a scary situation for him there as well. I mean, that 1v1 from Polly could have gone either way, and you know there was a couple of rounds coming over towards that A bomb site that could have gone either way as well. So, Luminosity, they get it done. We're going to OT, and this is the second time that we've seen Luminosity go to OT so far in this season. Once on train against Keed Stars, and now already against Mouse Spaz on Cobblestone. So crazy stuff already happening in the Pro League. Yeah, there, there's been some awesome stuff. Obviously, the story last week in Pro League was the, the start of Keed Stars after their move, the start of Nihilum. Uh, they didn't play in the first week. 
So some really good matches. And then obviously at the end of tonight, you know, one of the best matches I'm excited for this evening is, is that Elevate versus CLG match. That's going to be very, very interesting in two teams that were tied at the end of last season and, and, and Elevate actually lost to CLG in the last match of the season. And that's what knocked Elevate out of the playoffs and allowed CLG to attend the uh, ESC uh, finals land. So that's a little bit of a grudge match. That's a pretty good rivalry we have here in the NA region. Alrighty, so just waiting for them to live up here to go into OT number one. Of course, I'm going to emphasize number one, because with the way that these teams are playing against each other, it's been relatively even. Now, I'm expecting LG to step it up on their CT side for this first half of OT. Yeah, well, they, they need to they need to keep playing like they did in those last three rounds that, that allowed them to bring it when they were down 15 to 12 and they won three straight. They need absolutely that. They need, you know, Peter to be able to find up that pick. And here's the thing. We were talking a lot about the economies and the impact they would have in those rounds towards the end. And, and starting at 10K, this opening round, you know, both teams is going to have full everything they want to execute any strat they would like to. So, you know, it's one of those things where it's going to be the, the favorite strat of mouse pads. What, what gave them the most success? And I mean, really, it was just trading into these bomb sites. Trading into that B bomb site was so effective for him all half before NAF. I mean, NAF to me, NAF and Peter really stepped up in those last three rounds. NAF was an anchor at that B bomb site. Uh, Peter was an anchor at that A bomb site, getting those opening picks. And those two players need to continue that work here in overtime. Well, we'll see if they can make it happen here. We should be going live very, very shortly. I saw an AFK on the Luminosity side, so maybe just talking about things real quick. Going over a couple of things, what do we want to do to to, to try to close out this OT and get this 18th round, and uh, or 19th round, pardon me, and make this happen? So we should be going live here any second, guys. I'm just going to roll a little bit of music for you in the background as we uh, wait for this one to go live. Because that's, like, that's the cue for them to go live anytime I play music. It's like the Academy Awards. It's like, alright, you guys are done with whatever you're doing, just let's move on. Let's get this started. Cue the music, Mega Man. It was the end of the last song. I gotta wait. Here we go. Alright, music. Booyah! What did I tell you? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. You did tell me. You did tell me that was going to happen. Nicely done. Nicely done from you to force them to start. All right, well, see, that's the cue, man. They just know. All right, Mega Man's playing music. Well, we better get going because we don't want to listen to the music that he's playing. Blah, 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 blah. Nevertheless, what you were kind of. Actually. Yeah, shut up. What you were kind of talking about before with the money situation and everything in the OT, you've only got $10,000. You can see Peter picking up an AWP in small armor, whereas Zach is fully invested, full nade set. Peter's only got a flash and a smoke to work with because he's trying to conserve as much money as he possibly can for the rounds that are coming up. Yeah, especially with the purchase of an op in the first round of overtime. You lose that, you start getting really, really punished in overtime. So here's that B. Execute all five members for Mouse Spaz. Look at this positioning from Naf. He's going to have a huge role to play. It does smoke off that choke point one more time. They might just wait for this smoke to expire, but actually here they come over the walls. They're going to come right through it. Naf is going to have to be huge again at the chicken coop. Let's see if he can do it. Polly already dropping down to the backside of Fountain. He's going to get caught out here by Napfly. Nap goes for the peak. He's going to be able to take down one. They're alerted to his position. They might be able to just spam him up here. Flashbang around the corner actually blinds all three of them. That's a good nade over the top. That's a Molotov. Let's see if he can do anything with it. Anger still residing his position here from drop. All three remaining terrorists are over in this bomb site right now. The AWP from Zex is going to be able to find one. Anger takes one down, though. And now it's all going to be down to just Peter and Anger. Anger going for a little bit of a boost there. Emsta in the site right now. Goes ahead and takes the peak, wins the battle, and now it's Peter in a 1v2. Finds the one. Almost finds the two, not able to get that shot off. Still looking for it, though, Peter. Can he clutch this out to get him their first win? No, he cannot. Imsta's going to take the round. Big 2K on the back of him, as well as Zek in that round, and Mouse Baz back in the lead. Yeah, very, very nice one-on-one -on -one win from Imsta. And Oh, that looks so good. It came down to Naf in that chicken coop. He got one kill, but, you know, you, you said nice Molotov. It would have been if he lived, but it's not worth getting it off to fall in that position. That let him swing into the bomb site. That let him take the angles they needed uh, to win those fights over towards double doors, over towards the drop. And Peter just can't win that one on two. So very close. But because he bought so lightly in the first round, he's going to pick up another op here. But he does get flashed back, so he's not going to be able to give them the advantage yet. 
But it's a naked up as well, so the aim punch is going to be brutal for him right now. The nades rain in and do some pretty good damage here, but Nafly picked up an up as well. Going to find opening blood, but Polly is right around the corner. He's gotten help from a teammate, and Nafly is going to be able to drop two. And this is that position that you talked about before. Nafly is going to find the third, and a great play from him. Now Peter, well, actually, Lex is going to get caught out. Zek going to find a nice frag on him. Now Peter is going to resign his position all the way to the back of the, B, uh, the A bomb site now. And try to look for somebody that's kind of encroaching onto his position. And Smoke is going to go down to the mid-double doors. Try to cordon off any kind of a rotation, but Peter is on it, and he is going to find the bomb carrier, drops him down, and now it's going to be all on second 1v4. So a good-looking round here from the CT side. And there it is, Peter. Nice shot. Quick shot to the face, and he's going to be immediately picking up armor for the next round. Yeah, very, very nice shot from Peter there at the end. And that was that was the big thing that I was worried about is just, you know, at the end of the round, just don't lose that up, Peter. Just don't die, please. That's that's what you need to stay alive. So he hits a nice shot. He lives. It's going to be 16-16. And still with this double op setup that was so effective for Mousepaz and, and Regulation, it's being effective here for Luminosity. Naf and Peter, I think all five kills in that, in that round were all op kills. They were indeed. Both kills coming from Peter and three kills coming from Nafly. So it's paying dividends already. This heavy investment that they have. Look at the money difference spent invested into this round. 26400 for Mouse Baz, 34250 for Luminosity. And pardon me, and that's after they've already thrown out a couple of nades. Lex is playing very aggressive over here in these long A halls. He's got to be careful. He's going to smoke things off. He could get wrapped on from down middle. Actually, Peter was playing there, but he's forced to fall back. So now Lex is basically isolated on his own. They're going to switch positions. Peter's going to come over towards these halls with his AWP. Try and find something in that smoke. He takes a shot. He doesn't hit it. But Lex is still there to back him up. And this is one of those crossfires, those stacks that you can have. But Lex, oh, he looks the wrong way. Zek misses the shot. Lex gets away with one. But he's so incredibly stuck. And Zek is not. Oh, he is. He's going to recover. He's going to get the scope nicely. Lex can't kill him. So Peter's all alone. Actually, he does have Agar who rotated over very, very early. But the bomb's making its way back over towards B. So this defense is all spread out at the moment. And this is all on Naf playing from the chicken coop. Once again, that AWP, and we'll see whether or not he can rain some more death down onto the terrorist side. Zek at 24 HP. They're pushing in towards that A-bomb site, but there it is. Naf like drawing first blood, immediately counter flash. Actually blinds himself. He's in jeopardy now. He's going to get spammed up. He's in a Molotov. Nice shot before he goes down, though, and now Pitt's going to be able to find another one. Pitt oh. cleans it up. And just like that, Mouse Spaz now down one round going into the second half of OT, number one. What a 180 by Pitt there at the end. Sadly, I missed it. Oh. Auto director spun me over to anger. Stupid auto director trying to tell me what to do. We should be going live into the second half of OT number one here very, very shortly. And right now, LG in the lead. They had a great terrorist side half, but that's not to be sh for, uh, overshadowed by the terrorist side half that Mousepaz had. So maybe we're going to see a little life for Mousepaz on their CT side. Let's see if they go for an immediate double op setup. Zach already picking one up. Imsta, are you going to go for the AWP as well, my friend? I actually liked the way that, that Luminosity did. They started out with one, they lost it, but then they picked up a double op setup after that. If you invest two right now, uh, that's just so brutal going forward if you don't win it. So Luminosity, and that's exactly right. They, they just keep the one. They have the one op on Zek, and he's gonna be, he's playing the very similar position as Peter. They're not putting the opper over towards B. He's going to be in mid. He gets a leg shot onto Anger, but he just falls back. He takes that advantage and just falls away. And that's the smart play. We talked about him getting punished for overstaying his welcome in the past. He switches it up, goes back over to the A-Halls. Good play from him. Opening damage already being dealt onto Anger, down to 16 points of health. And no real... I look at Luminosity. They, they, they're just kind of huddled together as a team. I think this is just a sign of inexperience in this map because... You know, they don't really have any map control. They're clearing all this as they come back, and they've got to be very careful. This is going to eat a lot of time off the clock, but they are going to set up for that. More than likely, that wall of smokes be executed that they were doing in the first half, but look at where Demise has got himself. He is behind the box. He's going to swing out. Op shot is missed by Peter. That was an opportunity to get a man advantage, but... Peter's still holding this angle right now, so if Demise swings back by the box, he might get caught out. No, Peter going for a smoke, and... He's going to get chewed up a little bit by that. And look at this, Zek rotating over. They've got five CTs versus five terrorists. It's going to be a brawl on the B-bomb site here in just a minute. Demise is going to win against Pitt. Polly's going to win against Nafly. And we're already down to a two or a three versus five situation now as we are going to be seeing this terrorist crew rotate all the way back towards the A-bomb site. And Peter, he's going to have to go up against Zek here. And Zek peeking out. Zek's going to win the battle. And again, it's down to a two versus five. And a great showing now for Mousepaz. They're going to go for the smoke. Zek peeks out. 
But that smoke is going to court in that area. But look at the rotation for the CTs. They're already no all over it. A, and there's no time for a plant. And now Lex is just going to be able to pick off one. Lex is going to find a second one. Pushing through the smoke. Emsta can't decide who to shoot. Anger is going to be able to clean him up. But he is so low, he's going to fall. And what a round for Mouse Bats. Tied up 17 all once again. What a match. Yeah, that, that peak by Demise, he stays up on the platform, does one more peak when Peter's lining up for the smoke. As soon as he had scopes and lines up for the smoke, Demise peaks. He didn't get any kills, didn't even really do that much damage, but the information he gathered, that's what allowed... There was a 5-on-5 five five battle at that B bombsite. That rotate for Mousepaz was huge. He gathered all the information he needed, able to, you know, inform his team well enough to make a hugely impactful call on the rotate, so... Nicely done by Demise, and now Zach being very aggressive down in... CT mid over towards A. Four members of Luminosity once again geared towards B. And now Navfly is going to be your AWP -er here for the terrorist side. He's had success with it on the CT side. Spamming through the smoke though. Fruit's going to get chewed down. Oh, that nade to follow should take him down and there it is. He gets the molly off in time, but again, you said the pay, the payment for that one very dire. And they actually went for a little bit of boofs by uh, drop and spotted out one terrorist, but the man advantage going the way of Luminosity right now, and we'll see whether or not they can make it happen. That Molotov is going to rain down, and that's going to flush one player out. That's the number three man, Demise, who takes a little bit of damage from that as well. So, terrorists gearing up for the B hit. There's three CTs to beat over here in this B bomb site. And let's see what they've got for us here, Moses. Yeah, not, they haven't done anything quite yet. They haven't even lined up for their smoke. They're just all finally getting out. They're being very cautious, but Demise, once again, he's in this position, and they threw a molly here, so they might think this is clear. Demise is in a great spot to shut everything down. Here come the smokes. When is Demise going to choose to peek is the real question. Well, the flashbang comes around. Anger doesn't check the corner. And spamming away his clip. They still haven't spotted him, but Polly goes into one. Nafly finally comes back, but Emsta drops one, and now the man advantage going the way of the CTs. Emsta, whoa, Pith, though! Back-to-back -back big headshots. He's going to be able to find two. And it's down to a one versus one. But with only five no seconds, time. the round is going. Mouse spaz his way. 18 to 17 in pit. Unfortunate heroics there at the end. But Polly playing it smart. Yeah, here's... Pit's going to be able to drop one gun. But this economy is brutal. One thing we didn't mention when it happened... The, the first round of overtime, the, the remaining two players on Luminosity who couldn't make their way into the bombsite actually died after the clock ran out. So they didn't get any bonus money that round. Which is absolutely brutal, because now you look at this purchase they have going into this round. They have two Tech Nines. That that hurts. And they only have two smokes as well, so they can't really do that that B wall of smokes that they, they liked so much in regulation. So uh, Luminosity at a, at a severe disadvantage here in this round. It's going to be a quick mid. Zex in there. He's going to find the first one. Can he get more? Pulls out the 570. He does grab one. Can he get a second one? He can't. He does a lot of damage, but some good trades. Quickly down to a three on two in the way of Mouse Fez. Yeah, and again, Nafly, he didn't have a rifle. He's going to pick up the AWP, and Anger's still only on a Tech-9. It's a 3 versus 2. They've rotated out of that B bomb site, so Anger could potentially move his way up there, but that bomb is dropped, and they're going to have to recover it. And look at this, Polly. Again, you talked about these hero plays that he goes for, and he's making one right now. Yeah, but he almost feels like he's going to circle right around Naf, who's down in mid. And Nope, oh, he spots he spot him. him. Does he see him? No, he doesn't see him. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That could actually be huge, because Anger's pretty much already into this B bomb site, and he's going to clear it out. So this is going to be a plant and a post-plant situation. You know, once Anger gets that information over to him, Naf's going to start booking it. And because of that flank from Polly, Mousepass thinks there's no way that B is even a possibility. Because Polly's kept his eye on it now, he just doesn't know that he that he missed himself, by or he missed his opponent by like half a second. All right, and again, Nafly going to work his way in, and Anger, he's cleared it out. Demise has worked his way back over here, but P uh, Anger is going to try to put himself into a position to be very successful here with that Tech-9, getting all the way up on the double doors. They hear the plan coming in towards that B-bomb site, and now Anger, he's just got a hold, but Nafly goes down, and Anger in a 1v3 with only a Tech-9. Can he make it happen? Demise around the corner, and Demise going to fall. One more for the trade. Imsta is going to get it done, and Mouse Spaz is going to walk away the victor with a 19-17 to scoreline. That's heartbreaking. And actually, the last three matches for Luminosity have all been in overtime. There's this one that they now dropped to Mouse Baz to give Mouse Baz their first win. They lost to Keith Stars on train in overtime, and they beat Elevate on Inferno in, in double overtime, I believe it was. So, Luminosity playing some close matches recently, but that's going to be a tough one to swallow to a winless team. So, congratulations to Mouse Baz picking up their first win in the season.